Hello, this is Roland again from ePlan Canada. Rental and ePlan, your strong partners for sustainable panel building. Now, everyone has heard about ePlan, obviously, right? And within ePlan, you know that we can do our um, electrical schematics, number one. This basically defines a wireless, defines a bill of material, and we uh, create Primarily, all the schematics, not automatically, but semi-automatically, we can use configurators, we can use all kinds of tools. But this is what eBlan is all about. ProPanel is more or less the 3D aspect of everything. One day, you have to make it fit in this panel. We talked about it. This gives us a digital twin. But around us, around the eBlan ProPanel world, you have a lot of people, and these people they want to see what you do. And for this, we have something interesting called eView. You probably heard about it. eView is actually a way to share with others out there what you have done inside ePlan. You can actually, in the form of a collaboration, directly open the ePlan eView project here. And if somebody would have actually done any kind of redlinings, you would see it here. Now, who are those people that collaborate with you initially? Remember, let's let's go one step further and let's talk about the life cycle a little bit of your project. Okay, here I'm on our website, Retail and ePlan, Strong Partner, Sustainable Panel Building. And the idea is, of course, to look at the life cycle, engineering, supply, manufacturing, and operations. Now, we already talked about engineering, 2D, 3D. Bill of material generates um, the supply chain or services the purchasing department to buy the components, get them delivered, have a uh, organized kitting uh, package done, and then you manufacture it. We talked about all this. And during all these phases, you actually want to talk to your colleagues. And eView is the best way to do this. eView is actually on the cloud here, right there, accessible to everyone. Nothing really particular if he has the permission to watch your project. And of course, if he opens the same project as the one that we just worked on, this one here, he can see the same data, electrical schematics we just saw earlier here. He can see the 3D uh, of your panel so he can see the digital twin. Um, remember, in ePlan, <coughs> schematics and 3D actually will compose a bunch of reports. These reports, I can organize them for all these different steps. The first step, the bill of material for supply chain. In the second step, if I start by, you know, with the manufacturing, I can have a specific view for only ducks and rails. I can have a specific view for all the cuttings that are required, or I could send this to the retail mod center. Then I have to assemble the whole panel. This is a perfect view for this. A little bit <clears throat> like one of these Swedish companies that actually does some furniture. You never go to the end picture. You start step by step. And here we pretty much go step by step for every single portion of the build and we give you the perfect document to actually service you. And finally, what you do is you land the wires. You can do it via a static file like this, or you can use it through uh, smart wire. I have other videos that actually cover that. Now, here the idea <coughs> in this exchange is, of course, to actually be able to eventually put some redlinings. So maybe one redlining could be something as stupid as this is still in draft mode. So I can go here, uh, call it draft mode, okay? Uh, <clears throat> we go here, we edit uh, this from draft mode to review, and we say, please tell me what was done on this page. In other words, in ePlan language, complete the page. Boom, good. This being done, I can move on and do whatever I have to do. Inside ePlan, live, <clears throat> you will see here 
this particular project in the GTD here, if we open it, we'll have exactly this here called draft mode. This rectangle will be exactly in the same spot as what you saw in the cloud area. So there's a direct communication between the guys out there that can actually view your system and here the ePlan designer. Now, what were we talking about when we said complete page? It's just a revision control thing here where when I do complete the page, I basically specify what was done on this page. Okay? And this, of course, part of the ePlan revision and collaboration will, of course, take away the draft mode. We'll put down at the bottom of the page the exact description of what I did. Of course, this is incomplete at the moment. It's just to show you how it works. And there we have here for the revision, a sort of a revision control that actually takes place. All this is part of ePlan collaboration with the ePlan Cloud. Now comes the time, at one point in time, that this project, so primarily this panel here, is ready to go out. So technically, I'm actually <clears throat> putting together documentation, because the, I'm, I'm putting it together. I want this whole documentation to be accessible by anyone that actually looks at the panel. When you open any door of a retail panel, you will see a QR code. Some QR codes refer to the product itself. Another QR code is one that you will be able to actually use here in a different thing called ePocket. ePocket is pretty much sort of a electronic piece here that you can build up. You can put any documents that you think your customer should have. So here, for instance, this panel is the RAC Canada. It's an AX1060, whatever. And I will basically now add some more documents just to show you a little bit how this could look like. If I go back here, I have another package here that I sent out a few months ago, and it has some eView files. It basically has some other folders for general files, just, you know, contractual information or whatever. And this information here is actually attached to primarily one particular QR code because we have here a few QR codes out there that were related to those panels that were shipped with this project. And anyone out there that looks at these QR codes, boom, lands right here and has access to all these files that you see here. Here, I'm going to show you how I'm going to build a complete new set of documentation for this panel that goes out. So technically, all you have to do of course, the location, everything you have access, and I created it by just adding a new location here, okay? And of course, uh, here you get this new document. Now, new document will give you a free use for six months to actually fill it and ship out the package, and anyone that is out there will be able to scan the QR code and get, get access to this. Now, if I take this door that I had dismounted, you can see, there is actually a QR code here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this QR code really close to my camera. And by bringing it close enough, this QR code will then recognize, will be recognized. And I will be able to actually attach it to this one. So maybe in this case here, because I'm working on a computer to actually try to show you this via camera. So it's maybe not the best way to do this. So there are probably better ways to do it using just an iPad or an iPhone. There we go. And now you got this panel, the door of this panel. Anyone that actually touches this will be able to <coughs> create new documents. Okay. So I will create, <coughs> sorry, a new uh, document um, here. Create the new document. Save. There we go in this item, save. And I can now pretty much put anything I want here. So I have some general files, training files, eView. And if I talk about the eView file here, this is pretty much just a ZW1 file or PDF file that I will actually drag and drop there. 
And interesting about uh, the ZW1 file, which is an ePlan backup, I have such a backup here <coughs> in this file here, which is my very last one. In two seconds, let's see here in the dates. Let's sort this by date. So we got the last one here, version number three. I want to share this with the people. I just drag and drop it over there, right? So here, go and get it. Version number three. I say this is basically my final as released project e plan style. There we go. And I just upload it. If I want to upload other files, I could obviously upload any PDF images or anything else. So if I want to upload, let's say a picture like this, is uh, this is the panel in progress. I could, no problem. If I have some contractual things I want to add, I actually have here some more general files that I, I plan in for this. And I can just go here and find some general terms and conditions, I can find some PDFs for specific things. Uh, anything you wish to add here, you can add to this particular uh, panel. Here, for instance, this is just a simple PDF. I'm just going to show you a uh, PDF of Docs and Rails. I use actually this PDF here when um, I actually fabricated the whole thing. So I can actually go on here and just open it and you'll see anyone will then see that particular document. So these are obviously the, uh, P the, the, the docs and the rails. This is the cutting sheet. This was part, and, and it is already part of my uh, project, but this was very specific for one order that I had made with Jack Mark. Now, from now on, for the next six months, it's free, and then my end customer to whom I'm actually sending this panel will be able to decide if he keeps it or if he wants to download the file because he can actually come and view this and download these files and just save them wherever he wants. If he wants to keep that e-pocket alive, that space, so that your service people will never have to look for any kind of documentation because remember, if you go here, everything you uploaded is now available. Your service people getting in front of that panel will never have to run around, look for paperwork, look for anything. They will just basically have to go in here and they will just open these projects and that's it, right? And, and, and uh, here, if once it's published in, in eView, they will even see the schematics, the 3D, everything I've shown you here while I was actually earlier in the ePlan eView. So it's as smart but it's now open to anyone that has it. So what was this? This is basically here in the final stage when we're at the operations stage, right? Here it's for the operations. We also call it operation and services. We actually have eView for the internal people and we have Retail ePocket for the rest of the world. So technically what we do here is when you buy ePlan, particular when you buy Retail and a panel of Retail, it actually comes with a cloud space out there that is this particular ePocket. I hope you like it and I hope you use it big times because no waste of paper anymore, no running around on, 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 on trying to find out where that uh, folder is with all the documents. Uh, your service people will not have to run out there with three or four different folders if they go and see three or four different customers. Uh, your maintenance people will love it, will really love it. So, hey, look at it, look at it, really. It's, it, it's for free. It comes with every Retail panel. Every Retail panel has a QR code you can activate. And when you activate it, you have that service. Don't waste it. Use it. This was Roland from Eastland, Canada. Thank you.